Welcome, Taurus and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box for those of you that want to skip ahead. This is for the collective. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What needs to be known, seen, and understood? What is the energy here, please, for the collective? Okay. Okay. Oh, someone has a decision to make. Is this about work? Is this about... Uh, some type of commitment or responsibility is this are you dealing with an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn strong capricorn energy here okay a little water, a little bit of water energy let's see okay some confusion about what the empress taurus libra energy okay You know, this paints a really specific type of picture here. So again, I'm gonna say this could be really specific. Take what resonates and leave what does not. Please do not force messages that you know are not meant for you, okay? And do not get offended, okay? Because there's, there's a large collective, right? Uh, I think for some of you, you could be married to this person um, or there could be some kind of commitment somehow involved in this situation. For some of you, there are secrets here uh, and the truth, the truth might come out here. Okay. Um, I think someone is contemplating a new beginning, taking a leap of faith, but they may be worried about what they're leaving behind or worried about hurting someone that they do really care about. Okay. We have very strong, um, earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, um, <clears throat> Libra, could be any sign, but let's see. Um, we're gonna. Um, I'm gonna try to shuffle this. This is, this is kind of a hard deck to shuffle, so I'm gonna do the best that I can here. Um, just shuffling the cards, and then I'm gonna intuitively pick a couple. So let us see what needs to be known for the collective, please. We have rooster, which says an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. So be careful. There could be somebody somewhere in this dynamic um, might uh, you may not want to go up against. Let's see. Spear, heartache over what you no longer have. Tulip, great passion. Cup, you should accept valid criticism. Torch, spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. And diamond, you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. Okay. Yeah, I think this is a third party situation. And I think that there's a secret relationship happening here. I don't th I think there's a masculine trying to make a choice between two people. Now again, gender is irrelevant. We don't read we gender, we, we read energy here, but I'm going to read how I most predominantly see it, but it could be reversed for some of you, okay? But just for confusion's sake, I'm going to refer to this person as this king of pentacles energy. Um, this is a decision. Somebody's at a crossroads and they have choices. They have two, they have two specific, specifically, I feel like this person has two specific choices. This person is trying to make a decision about what direction that they want to go in or, or who they want to be with. Okay, and it may not be a matter of them really, they may know who they actually want to be with, but it may not be as easy as, you know, snapping your fingers and making a choice. Uh, a lot of people might get hurt here. This may be a huge life change. There could be a lot of money. There could be children. There could be uh, a lot of things uh, and a lot of, there's a lot of confusion here. This is somebody who definitely may have uh, a reputation that's very important to them. They may be very successful, very financially abundant. They may already be married. They may be legally tied to another person, and that really creates a big problem. Uh, it's not. It's not as. It's not easy. Just okay. I'm done. Bye. Have have a great life. It, it, there's some type of formalization here, and it makes it hard for this person to detach or leave a situation. You know, when we see like in this position with the devil, it does talk about temptation. It does talk about desires. You know, it can talk about greed. 
this can be third parties. And that's the situation. Someone is given into temptation and we have secrets here. It's what someone really desires. It's some kind of fresh start. But with this, there is risk. And I think there is like concern with what they may be leaving behind. I think that there was... I don't think that it was planned for. I don't think that it was prepared for like these villains to develop here with the Knight of Cups. But I do feel like this person fell in love with a third party. And now they're being presented with, again, a choice. Two of Wands. They have a decision. You see someone here is like holding the crystal ball and they're looking, you know, what's ahead, what's to come if they choose this path, if they choose the other. They don't really know what will fully await them. You know, there can be this thing of if they stay in their situation, they maybe can find contentment. Maybe things will get worse. Maybe things will improve. But will they always feel that they've missed an opportunity? However, if they choose this other person, this third party, they may ruin their relationship with this past person, cause a lot of pain to the people around them. It may work out with the third party. It may not. There's a lot of this person cannot see. They're trying to understand. And I think this person is very, very confused about what choice they are going to make or how they're going to make it. They're feeling very overwhelmed. I think that you're in a position here with the Empress. Now, you could be the wife, um, or maybe you have children, but the Empress is about fertility. It's about creation. It's about growth. You know, So you know your worth. This is abundance. Whatever you set your mind, your intentions to, you know, it's a very positive energy. Some of you are really focused on, like, your families, your, you know, your work. Uh, and there is a lot of potential here. I mean, the Empress is like the Queen of Queens. This is also your energy, Taurus. So it's like you know that you are ultimately a catch. I mean, the Empress, like I said, she has every quality of every queen. She's exactly what you would want or look for in a partner. You know, it's like you, you understand, like this person is not going to find someone who is as committed and as loyal, as passionate and adventurous and kind and generous, right? Who is, is you know, as determined, resilient as you are. It's like you have all these traits. You, you see all of your worth, right? I feel like you've been trying to distance yourself because I think this situation has been really difficult. Now, you could be at a distance from this person. Sometimes Six of Swords can talk about travel. But I think that you're kind of trying to stay busy, trying to stay focused on other things because you cannot make this choice for this person. I think that they also may fear hurting someone. Heartache of what you no longer have. Somebody could be very spiteful or vengeful. I think that you hope that you and this person will be able to protect what you have and see it through with their fears that people may try to in interfere. With the Ace of Swords, there is going to be a conversation between you and this person about this choice, which feels like an impossible choice to make. This person doesn't know how. Because like I said, they don't know what's going to happen. There may be a lot of money at stake here for some of them. There are a lot of people who disapprove of their choices, of their decision. And I think for some of them, they may not be prepared when some kind of truth comes out. Here we go. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So addictions aren't always just like substances or drinking, etc. Uh, it can be that this person is maybe dependent on this other person because maybe they share a lot of financial ties chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here but when it comes to you and this person you cannot seem to stay away it's like you know drawn to this ball of light like a moth to a flame you know it's undeniable and under the deck it does say true love this is a romance of a lifetime i think that there's a fear of like walking away and giving up on this when you know it bears like there will be unfinished business or you know there, there will always be that question or that doubt of what could have been what should have would have could have been you know, you've had tried harder or fought for this. For some of you, I think that this person may want to tell you they want to give you something or do something or make a gesture here. 
and look at here how he's like holding out this like ball of light for her and she's like should I take it shouldn't I you know kind of bite in her lip for some of you it could be some kind of promise or uh, it could be it could be a physical gift for some of you it could talk about taking the next step it could talk about like a key to their apartment or you know a drawer or a ring or some kind of promise it's something that this person wants to show their dedication to this something important to you, something you've wanted. And again, eight years away might be a little bit different. Because again, these are general readings, so they're gonna resonate eventually for, you know, 10 of you, 100 of you, 1,000 of you, maybe more, you know. So take what resonates, leave what does not. But there's something this person wants to do, they want to say, so that you will feel more confident in this. But there is this element of caution though, because this person may not financially be in a place where they can make some kind of choice they might be trying to, to like close a chapter in their life, but it might take time for them to do this. But they be careful because sometimes with that seven of swords, it can talk about things that are exposed because this person is like leaving clues behind, right? So that is what I have for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you for those of you that do generously send in donations and super chats. As always, I wish you strength and I wish you many blessings. Bye-bye.